this is I don't think I've ever been so scared to film another episode in my life. Like literally life stories is on a next level cray. I truly don't know what else to expect. But anyways, we are back with another episode. Uh remember last time when I said I thought I was getting sick? Well, your girl was on to something. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm actually sounding a lot better than the current household I just filmed, but you know, that can come and go. I'm a little wonky. The energy just isn't right yet, you know? So I'm kind of on the fence of like delirium because the brain is like, you know, it's just there's a lot going on right now, but I'm okay. I swear. It just might be a little more all over the place and scattered brain, which kind of fits for this LP to be honest, because <laughs> that's literally it in a nutshell. So one of our goals is to call Fiona right now. Um, for whatever reason, we're deciding dinner is more important. Granted, I don't know what time it is, but I have a feeling it's like really, really late. I'm still gonna call Fiona. She's probably gonna tell me to fuck off, and that's fine. It wouldn't be the first or the last time that I heard it, dude. <laughs> Riley, you got the food on the stove. What are you doing? She's just trying to burn down the whole damn place. You know what I'm saying? It's like a metaphor for her life, to be honest. But let's give Fiona a call. I'm just gonna talk to her. I want to see if she has anything to add to this conversation, this mystery. But uh huh, she has something to say. It's taking place right now at Old Grove Gardens, right next to the park. I'm here, but you better hurry if you hope to stop her. I have to go to Old Grove Gardens and tell Nikki what is going on. Look at the <laughs> look at the face on this woman. She is shook to the core. Oh my gosh, it's like so late right now. I'm gonna put on my best bodegas and head right on over. What the hell did I literally just say five minutes ago? <laughs> Told you so. Turns out Riley couldn't find the bodegas. Instead, we had to go for the crumple bottom kitten heels, and that's okay. We got bigger issues on our plate because, hello, sir. Uh, a quick little swift turnaround, and look at that. It is a horda in the flesh, mirroring the man of my dreams. Who else is here? Ooh, Ashley Sinclair. That's interesting. Also, Fiona Fatuna, and then we have Madison Fatuna, which I guess is actually her sister. And then Wa Waring, Wa Waring Sinclair. <laughs> I think that is actually her dad or maybe even possibly her grandfather. I don't know, but let's play because I'm scared. He is looking really agitated right now. Like he is not having it. There is Agora. Let's see what Mickey has to say about her little side job. What I really want to know what Mickey has to say is about this damn dress she decided to wear to her wedding of all things. This is definitely not it. I'm not going to sit here and judge her, but what I am going to do is I am going to expose her. How do I do this? I always feel like I'm going to like screw something up. Oh wait, I think, I think... <gasps> Riley just did it herself. And that's the entire story. Agora, is this true? Did you really kidnap Riley's aunt with Dylan in an elaborate insurance scheme and then plan to marry me as a personal revenge against her? Nah, bitch. I'm just making this shit up. <laughs> Got him. Obviously, it's freaking true. Look at her. She don't care. She don't love you like I do. I'm wearing white and it ain't even my damn wedding. I did it for us, Mickey. I wanted to marry you with all my heart and share the money with you. However, she made you push me aside. But I really love you. It's kind of nice to see somebody else cry besides Riley <laughs> to be honest but um I don't even feel bad oh, oh the petty bad bitch <laughs> I love that I love that so much don't even talk to me this is over Nikki how could you say that I love you I've been literally standing here for five minutes now while everybody has just been staring in disgust <laughs> you you ruined everything oh my god girl don't make me out don't make me out what do you mean I oh she just jumped on me like a damn sloth and now she's got oh girl have you ever heard of fucking deodorant shit bitch come here you little cockroach let me stomp you like the bug you are go in there riley <laughs> oh god i really hope riley wins because it would be so embarrassing yes okay i was just saying you better knock that bitch on her buns hey i don't know why you're swinging around she's really tired that took all the energy out of her and uh-oh Oh my god, it's twice in a two. This lady's getting a lot of action. Put your hands behind your back, Agora, because you are going where Dylan is. There is a special place for you in HE Double Hockey Sticks, sis. I am so excited. Like, seeing her in handcuffs brings me a level of satisfaction I have yet to feel. I swear, every time, every time. <laughs> this is seriously so exciting. I'm just gonna watch her get placed in the cop car because this bitch really thought 
She really thought she was gonna pull a scheme over my eyes, but you know what? I mean, I'm Riley Black Eye Harlow. And of course, I have to thank Fiona for giving me a heads up and filling me in because really, she didn't have to do that. I knew Fiona was a true one. Miss Harlow, you've been the most helpful in this investigation. Miss Agora will not be harming you or your family anymore. Please take this reward as a token of our thanks. So looks like we received a several thousand simoleons, which is definitely going to help. Ease the pain and suffering of everything that has been happening lately. Why did we just zoom in on Riley's butt? Riley, I'm so sorry I didn't follow my heart. Since we met, you've been all I've ever thought about. Please forgive me for being so blind and do me the honor of just one thing. I swear to God, if this kid gets on his... No, don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> I said don't do it! Oh my God. Oh, oh, Father Cielo. <laughs> Riley, I love you with all my heart. I know how foolish I was to let you go, and I promise to never do so again. Won't you marry me right here and now? Who the hell made this story? Like, I just want to have a quick little conversation. It is literally like T-minus post five seconds since you were going to marry Agora. And you give me the same ring, propose to me with it, jump in my arms like a little bunny rabbit. And now all of a sudden, we're head over heels for each other yet again. And we're going to get married. I love how even though she's standing underneath this wedding arch, she's still thinking of Agora. And here I was counting on Agora for the outfit she was wearing. And Riley is literally wearing a funeral dress. But you know what? <laughs> it's time to body Mickey. So let's go. You say for what that Ibsen. You say for the Neville. You say for the Oh, she. For what they like for money. Oh, for the Tavala. Hmm. For the Mickey just joined the family and brought 43,494 simoleons. Congratulations, Riley. I always knew Dylan wasn't the guy for you. Here's a gift from us to you both. Make sure to invite us over when you use it, okay? Riley, let's get out of here. I hope you like the Samaican Isles. One week later, the first thing we did after landing was drop off our luggage at the hotel and hit the beach. I finally got to wear that really cute shirt I made with that coconut and dental floss without feeling all weird about it. The only problem was that it seemed to attract birds and insects, but at least we got a lot of beautiful pictures. A few days after we arrived, we found this beautiful secluded lagoon. We wanted to stay there the entire afternoon, but Mickey accidentally stepped on a rockfish. Although the rockfish didn't see it that way. The good news is that the hospital staff here are really quite friendly. The night before we left, we went to this little club with an enormous bubble blower in the middle of the floor, and exactly where we went after that was kind of a blur. The good news is, is that the local law enforcement are really friendly and said that they'd send us the photos. We had a wonderful time here in the Samaican Isles, and I hope to come back someday. So much just happened in the last 10 minutes. It's kind of crazy. I mean, we're married. Oh, sweetie, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful time. I have a little surprise for you. I'm giving you the house. I need a new change of scenery, and I figured this would work out pretty well for you two. Now I'm off. I have a hot date with a fellow I met online. You kids have fun, and I want to see lots of grand nephews and nieces. But before I I go I got you a little something perhaps you and Mickey can use it to <laughs> you know good old Aunt Sharon always on the move she does bring up a good point though I've always wanted a family this game is literally all gas and no breaks we just came back from Samaica and now we want to have some babies I'm gonna be honest though if it was me creating the story she would have came back pregnant already we wouldn't even be having this conversation but since our next goal is to essentially start a family I'm gonna put Aunt Sharon's bed to good use. Those cutscenes, though, they are seriously so iconic, and I love how our steak is still sizzling on the stove. It's been there for probably like two weeks now. 
<laughs> and we wonder why we have cockroaches. But I did want to check out the gifts because I'm sure we have a bunch in our inventory. So we actually have this really old bear, which I'm assuming is the one that Mickey gave us a while back. He looks so raggedy and old. And here is the big old TV that Aunt Sharon stole. I swear our inventory looks like a swap meet because we have so many different things. And then, holy crap, we even got like a really nice hot tub. I don't know where to put it because you guys aren't going to be able to see it. But trust me, it is there. And then we have the uh, fer fer Fertilator. <gasps> oh my god. This is literally like a fertility bed. Get out of freaking town. Do you guys see like the sex symbols on here? I'm actually pissed that we did a woohoo on it. Like peep the plum bobs and the satin red sheets. Yo, I cannot. This is so cool. I'm just going to leave it right here for now because I don't know what else to do with it. I'll definitely switch it out in case Riley isn't pregnant. Obviously, we'll have to try again. I know that this uh, episode or part or what have you was super duper short, but I think the next episode or the next chapter is the last one. And I kind of want to savor it. I want it to be, you know, the big hoorah. I could be wrong. So let me know in the comments down below if the next chapter is the last chapter or the next part or whatever. I don't know how to like phrase it anymore. Um, but hopefully it wasn't too short and because I am sick again. Like I don't want to I don't want to sound raspy through the very last episode. It's important. But I love how she has her whole mouth open. She got woohooed the F down and she is feeling all sorts of good right now. We have so much money in the bank. We got a house. We really got the good end of the deal for sure. And we also have like this hot, sexy man that we're going to spend the rest of our lives with. Like, I'm actually super excited to see what happens next, irregardless if it's the last chapter or not. I think what I'm going to do is create them in The Sims 4. Like, everyone. Aunt Sharon, Agora, the whole cast, pretty much. Because I think it would be really cool just to see what they would look like modern day. And I think I would have a lot of fun with that. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I am pretty sure eating spoilers pork chops isn't good for the baby that pork chop is like two weeks old what are you doing woman oh my god i need to end this before somebody freaking dies anyways as i was saying i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here but just in case we are indeed pregnant feel free to leave some baby name suggestions in the comments down below and with that said i hope you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do but don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me